It's not just poor road signs that are getting motorists off of some speeding offences. I'm about to go and meet a man who believes that some of the technology used on mobile speed cameras is also flawed. Dr. Michael Clark is a respected engineer in laser technology and vehicle detectors. Much of his work has been in the field of traffic control. He's tested one of the speed guns used by many police forces and concluded that it has several faults. We've conducted a, a, a number of tests uh, that we've set up in a, in a controlled situation and these you know, clearly demonstrate these, these defects. Sometimes when the uh, device targets a vehicle, it can give a, an increased or decreased speed reading on what it's supposed to be and sometimes it can hit the wrong vehicle altogether and you just don't know that's happened. The speed gun he's tested is the LTI 2020 Ultralight 100, the same model used by many police forces. It works by sending off a series of infrared light pulses. Each one enables the gun to measure the distance to the target. By taking several measurements, it can calculate the speed of the vehicle. To get an accurate reading, operators are trained to hold the gun still while the beam is being fired. What Dr. Clark has shown is that the gun can produce false readings. Just watch this. Stationary car, what do you do? Well, I have a stationary car. I've got a speed meter. Let's see how fast the car's going. Eight miles an hour. Incredible, isn't it? It's absolutely <laughs> static. Yeah. Eight miles an hour. They wouldn't normally point at a stationary car, so does this show us anything? Well, of course, if the car had been moving, this speed would have been added to the speed it was travelling at. So if it was going just under the, the speed limit of 30 miles an hour, it'll be doing 37, 38 miles an hour, as far as this is concerned. That's a conviction. His test reveals what's known as the slip effect. If the beam drifts along the vehicle in the direction of travel while it's firing, the gun is fooled into thinking the vehicle is travelling faster than it actually is. 21. To prevent this, the guns are fitted with software that causes an error message to be displayed when it detects a slip. This gun is fitted with the same software, and Dr. Clark believes it's not foolproof. 30, 29, 30. 36. 36. 30. Can I confirm that you didn't go over 30 miles an hour because we have you at 36, over? Oh, we're down there between 29 and 30. So we have the confirmation. They were travelling at between 29 and 30 miles an hour. That's confirmed. What did you get? We got a reading of 36 miles an hour on this laser speed meter. Which means someone could get ticketed. Very much so. That's uh, over the limit and that's in the uh, prosecution. So, so is this a rare one-off extreme case that you've been able to illustrate here? I don't think it is. Um, I think most of the time the policemen are getting good readings, but every now and then they get one of this nature and the policeman's unaware that he's got a bad reading. The machine goes blink just the same as if it was a, a good reading. The machine thinks it was a good reading too. And that's the problem, we just don't know. The Chief Constable's organisation, ACPO, has dismissed these tests as misleading and warned drivers not to use the results as part of a speeding defence. It said all police laser speed meters are subject to stringent tests by Home Office scientists, that they give accurate readings and are calibrated annually to make sure they're in good working order. It added that Dr. Clark is not a Home Office accredited tester, that our device hadn't been calibrated by an accredited tester and would therefore not be used by police. What do you say to the people who say your tests aren't the same as theirs? Your standards aren't as rigorous as law enforcement. What would you say? I say, what test have you done? The test that we've done here today, we've taken great care to ensure that we set everything up properly, that we had calibrated speed measurements, calibrated speed meter. This is not what happens out on street on a daily basis. There's a policeman standing by the roadside who's too busy or very busy uh, taking in enforcement speed measurements and he, he, he will not have done all this precision stuff that we've done.